Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have covered the basic geometrical objects that is point, line, line segment and ray. We will quickly look at some of the questions just to ensure that the basics of geometry are clear. Question number 1. Name the line given in all possible ways that is 12 possible ways choosing only 2 letters at a time from the four given. So what do you see on the screen? On the screen we see a line because we have arrows on both ends which tells that it extends indefinitely on both the directions. But we have certain fixed points which has divided the line into smaller line segments. Now what we need to do is we need to name the line in all possible ways. So what are the different ways by which we can name this line? Now we already discussed that how do we represent line? We represent line with two letters at a time. Now some of the ways by which we can name this line are AB. So AB could be one name. It could also be AC. It could be AD. It could also be BA. Because Though AB and BA would mean the same thing, but still that's a different name altogether. Like how you have a, a name for your, an official name, which is the name in your school and another nickname, which maybe your parents or your friends call you. So in a similar way, AB and BA, these are two different names, even though they mean the same thing. Similarly, you can say CA, similarly DA. In a similar way, you can also name it as BC, BD. C, B, D, B. You can also name it as C, D or D, C. So how many did we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So these are the all 12 possible ways by which this line can be named. Question number 2. Use the figure to name line containing point E. So where do we have E? This is E. Now which is the line that contains E? So if you look at this point E, it is present on this line that is AE. So AE is one line which contains E. Is there any other line which contains E? Yes, EF is also a line which contains the point E. So EF is also another line. So is there any other line? No. Line passing through A. So where do you have A? This is A. Which line is passing through point A? Again that is AE. Line on which O lies. So this is point O. So which is the line on which O lies? This is nothing but CO or OC whatever you call it. Two pairs of intersecting lines. So where do you see intersecting lines? Wherever two lines have a common point. So this is one line, this is another line and these two lines have a common point here. Similarly, this is one line, this is another line and these two lines have a common point here. So basically one pair of intersecting lines would be AE and CO. The other pair of intersecting lines would again be AE and FE or EF. So these are the two pairs of intersecting lines. Question number three. How many lines can pass through one given point? So let us say this is one point and how many lines can pass through this point? Actually infinite, let's say like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and infinite number of lines can pass through this point. So therefore infinite lines can pass through one given point. Through two given points, so let's say you are given two points like this. So, so you have to draw a line such that the line should pass through this point as well as through this point. So how many lines can pass through these two points? Now when we say lines, we generally refer the straight lines. We do not refer curves. 
so that that's what i was discussing before right so whenever normally we could talk about lines we talk about straight lines so how many straight lines can pass through these two points only one you cannot have any more straight line which can pass through both of these points so if you say if you try to draw a line like this it doesn't pass through this point if you try to draw a line like this again it doesn't pass through this point so for a line to pass through both of these points there could be just one such line question number 4 draw a rough figure and label suitably in each of the following cases point p lies on ab so basically you draw a line ab so let us call this as a line ab and point p lies over it so point p lies somewhere between ab x y and p q intersect at m so you have one line as x y you have another line as p q and the question says that both of them intersect at m so that means the point of intersection is m line l contains e and f but not d so let us first draw a line l so let us call this as line l and uh, this line contains point e and f so e and f are present on this line l but not d that means d is present somewhere outside whether here or here or anywhere but not on the line op and oq meet at o so let us say this is op this is o and this is p and this is oq so op and oq meet at point o so by reading these statements it was pretty easy or pretty simple to draw these shapes thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you